Hey YouTube, welcome to this video. What I'll be showing you guys today is something a little bit out of my realm. Um, is how to create a PDF form um, without, you know, very very quick and easy using two products, which is programs, which is Microsoft Word and Adobe Pro. Um, so let's minimize this bad boy, and I'm going to use the Microsoft Office. It's slow in opening it up because of the screen recorder, but it's really really easy to create these forms let's just say we want to create a name field we just create a name whoops name and all we got to do is just put the name here I'm just gonna hit my tab key a couple times and if I want to say address let's do city And let's just do state for the heck of it. State is pretty uh, small. We can minimize the city a little bit to give the state some more space. So there we go. Now underneath these, if we want to have like say a uh, comment box or some radio buttons or something, I'm just going to create a some bullet points here just so I can have and I'm just gonna change the bullet points to circles and I'm just gonna say Google Yahoo Bing we're gonna turn these into uh, radio not into radio buttons let's just say we want to have a comment box we're just gonna say comment and I'm going to insert a table. Table, and I'm just going to do one. Then just make it bigger for my comment box. So we're done creating our forms, and I'm going to show you how this works. I'm going to save this. I'll just put it on my desktop so it's easy to find. So desktop, save, and we can close Microsoft Word. We're done with that. Okay, I've closed the word and I can open up Adobe Adobe Acrobat Pro. So let's click on the little tab here that says create a PDF form. And it's going to make me choose a document. That's the one I'm choosing. I'm going to browse for that document I just created, which should be on my desktop. And it's called name. So I'm going to hit the letter N. There we go. I find name. I'm going to hit next and it should start processing the form. Let's wait for it. As you can see, it's processing. Now, see, it creates a form. And then we can minimize these to the height that we want, which I'm going to drop mine down. You guys can do yours however you like. This is also a form field. Now you can make these fields be required by right clicking them and go to rename field. And you can also turn these into radio buttons by adding a radio button. Click, drag. And you can say choice one is Google. And you can put it into group one, click away. Let's make it a little bit bigger just in case. And I can say add a radio button to group, and we can drag this. On another one, I'm not going to go too, too fancy with them, but you guys should get the general crap. And then choice two, I'm going to say Yahoo. And then we can add again. And we're going to make this Bing. Okay. 
Okay, now I'm going to save this file. File, save. It's going to go to my desktop as name.pdf. I'm going to click save. And I am going to, it didn't put one for the state, but you know, you can add that. Um, I'm going to close this and then I'm going to open name.pdf again. And as you, can, you guys can see, radio button, radio button, radio button, typing field, typing field, typing field, typing field. Now, I'm just going to Z out all this. Everything that I've just done, I'm going to get rid of. I'm going to show you how to save it. You know, sometimes you get PDF forms and it says, oh, you can only, <coughs> sorry, you can only type and print. You cannot save this document. The reason that says that is because the user disabled permissions where you can um, save. So to do it, to make it where people can save, you go file, save as, you go down to where it says reader extended PDF, and you say enable additional features save now it's going to ask you to save the file again at a different name you can save that the exact same name but keep in mind that when you save this and it erase this original form it's not editable anymore so it won't be editable so just keep that in mind so save I'm gonna erase mine because I really don't want to keep it open so now that we get rid of that now we can open this up again and this form is now ready for saving and distributing and whenever you send it to someone they will be able to fill this out and save it so that's how you do that it is done alright thanks for watching guys I hope this helped I hope this was helpful it's a little bit out of my realm of web design but I hope somebody finds some form of use for this I'm out